Good morning, Tank and Sober Guy here, coming to you from the Cornerstone Restoration Ministry, Restoring Hope Designs, and Cornerstone Contractor Office in Kinston, North Carolina. I'm Robert Evans Jr., I'm Tank and Sober Guy, and uh, one day at a time since September 22nd, 2017, life has been getting better and better and better every day, one day at a time. Some days it's not uh, roses and rainbows, but other days, you know, um, I choose happiness every day of the week, regardless, like yesterday, I was going through some issues uh, at one of my job sites and uh, um, didn't have much help, but anyway, I persevered through it and um, hey, it, it ended up okay. So anyway, I'm going to share a quick uh, message of hope, encouraging word. This comes from Wisdom for the Way by Charles Swindoll. Flexible and willing. God says we are to be imitators of him, which really means we are to mimic him. Since God is a God of freshness and change, so we should be. Are you open to change in your life? Are you willing to risk? Are you flexible enough to innovate? Are you willing to tolerate the sheer possibility of making a massive change in the direction of your life? Lord, is it South America, great, or Indonesia? I'll do it. I'll move or change my profession. Fine. Are you leading me into a new venture? I'll do it. Count me in. That's what I'm doing. I'm following my God-given destiny by being here, by doing our ministry, Restoring Up Designs, which 50% of that, whatever we build, goes to the ministry. We make things out of pallets. Uh, I'm seeking out you know, speaking engagements to ch share my mess of despair that had been transferred to a, transformed to a message of hope. Uh, at, to any and everybody, I don't care who it is, churches, recovery groups, uh, the guy on the street, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm a humble servant, willing and able. That's the spirit. It may mean moving across the street. It may mean moving across the states. It may mean moving across the seas. How flexible are you? Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of that box. Step out of the boat, so to speak. And look to Jesus, not in the water surrounding you. Look to him. He will allow you to walk on waters, troubled waters. And as long as you focus on him and not the storms around you, in other words, this signifies storms. Christ is the light to the darkness. If we focus on him, the storms around us are not going to matter. We'll feel them all around us, but we're not going to sink down into the pit of despair. You know what I'm saying? And as long as you look to him and to, do not take your eyes off of him by faith and, and have that hope, you will start to see a difference in your life. How flexible are you? It may not involve a move at all, only a willingness. Are you willing today to do something different? Are you willing to take that step of faith by hope, with hope, with, in Jesus Christ and do something different in your life? I challenge you today to do that. And one day at a time, it'll get better. Five years, a month, and a few days later. I'm set to talk with uh, the Hope Center uh, Ministries. Uh, they got about 37 locations. I think we're looking to partner with them in some kind of way. I'm not sure, but God knows. I'm stepping out in faith, and I'm a humble servant. And uh, I hope everybody has a blessed day. And always remember, he is greater than I or you. Y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to leave you with one encouraging word. Then Jesus spake unto again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Christ is the light, the only light through darkness. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon. Take and sober, guy. Signing out. Don't lose hope. You never know what tomorrow might bring. Restoring Hope Design. Have a Jesus-filled day with hope.